welcome to my kitchen. My name is Rebecca. I have a cooking series for YouTube and this is Italian and today we're going to make lasagna. We're going to brown the meat. I have a generic Italian sausage. It's mild so it's not too spicy but if you like your spicier go ahead and buy spicier meat. Uh, or you can uh, liven it up a little bit with crushed red pepper. I like to wear gloves so that I don't have to wash the skin off my hands. Try to make it as small as I can because we're going to make it ground. Can you hear the Italian sausage sizzling? That's going to be good. That's on medium and while I let that cook for a few minutes, I'll get started on the sauce. I use plain sauce, ragu, generic, whatever you like. I prefer ragu and I season it myself. I don't need much. And I use garlic powder. Make sure you use garlic powder. Anything else is mixed with onion flavor and salt. Now I don't personally measure anything. I kind of go by sight and smell. But uh, that was about a teaspoon or so of garlic powder. And I like to put parsley flakes in the sauce because if you mix it into the cheese, in my perspective, it makes the cheese taste like, well, parsley flakes. And I don't only want to eat parsley flakes either. So I like to put mine in the sauce. And again, not too much, maybe just a teaspoon. Just I just stir that in and let it simmer while I mix everything else. Put that on my notes, turn that on low, put a lid on it, and I'm ready to go. Let's see how the meat's doing. It's looking pretty good. Alright, we'll leave that and get working on the cheese mixture. And I'm not going to need all of this. Now I'm not making too much because I don't need to make a really big pan. We're actually only using a 9 by 9 Pyrex glass. So I would say that's about, about a cup. That. Again, I'll use just a little bit of garlic powder because I put a decent amount in the sauce. So uh, maybe half a teaspoon. And I like to use my seasonings individually, but you can cheat and use what's called Italian seasoning. It has basil, parsley, marjoram, and thyme in it. Um, now I don't use marjoram or thyme, but some people do like it. I am going to put basil leaf in. That's oh, about a teaspoon, should be good. I have oregano, so I'll just shake some oregano flakes in there. Mm, probably about one tablespoon. I think one tablespoon will do us just fine. And real fast, we're going to check on the meat. Oh, that meat's looking really good. Now I know I said you don't need to season the meat, and you don't, but I just remembered that I took out whole caraway seed. So I'm going to put just a pinch of whole caraway seed in there and let it simmer in the Italian sausages oil. Okay, these are pretty much done. So I'm going to go ahead and just put that on low so that stays warm for us and, and um, when we're ready I'm going to drain that and we'll come back and mix the cheese. So we already have garlic, oregano, and basil. See? 
and we're going to add some fresh shredded Parmesan. I usually put Romano in it as well. Probably about a quarter of a cup. This cheese is kind of dry. So we'll mix that in nice and good. Can you see how thick it's starting to get? Now we're going to add one egg. Make sure we don't get any shells in there. Boy, that would be a fun surprise, wouldn't it? Ta-da! Okay, we're almost ready to start layering the pan, so I'm going to preheat the oven to 400. Okay, now I like to put a little bit of milk in my mixture. Not too much though. It's not really too thick right now, so we don't want to make it any worse. Maybe just a tablespoon. All right, how's that? All right, let's cut the mozzarella. An easy open. Watch your fingers. I would like my slices to be a decent thickness. Not too thick, not too thin though, because if it's too thin, then it doesn't taste good. Looks like we're ready to layer. I like to use no boil lasagna noodles. They're delicious. They work just as well as the other ones. And these kind of noodles are the reason why I put a little bit of milk in the cheese mixture. Helps them cook a little faster. You can use it right here. Just gonna drain the meat real fast. And by drain, I don't mean a big wild mess into the sink or the trash can or anything. I just kind of pat it with a paper towel. Soak as much of it out as I can. Grab it and put it in. We don't want to eat that. In a ladle. There's a small one. And I'm going to start with sauce in the bottom of the pan. Just enough to cover the bottom. And we'll add some lasagna noodles. And we'll put down filling. I like to put the meat on top of the filling. And then the good cheese on top of the meat. By using what's left of our cheese mixture, and our Italian sausage. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cover that with more sauce and another layer of noodles. Not too much sauce though. And as I'm getting prepared to put my lasagna in the oven, I will need aluminum foil. I'm going to put it in on 400 degrees Preheated, of course, for 30 or 35 minutes, covered, and then I'll uncover it and put it back in for another 10 or 15 minutes just to create, well, a little bit of a crust and make sure that the middle is completely cooked and the cheese is melting. And thanks to the magic of editing, I'll see you back in a half a sec. Welcome back. It's time to take the lasagna out of the oven. That looks delicious. 